Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 4 of integration series. Now in today's lecture, I'll be taking a question of KVPUI. This question was asked in the year 2012. Now the question is, we have to find the value of these two integrals as a ratio. The numerator is integration from 0 to pi by 2, sine of x, whole raised to power root 2 plus 1 with respect to x and the denominator is integration from 0 to pi by 2 sine of x raised to power root 2 minus 1 t of x. So feel free to pause the video and try this question. We'll solve this in the next page. So here we have to calculate the ratio of these two integrals. So let's say I say the first integral is i1 that is present in the numerator and the second integration is i2. So what we have to do here is we have to compute the relationship between i1 and i2. Once we compute the relationship between i1 and i2, we'll easily get the ratio. So let's start with i1. So i1 is integration 0 to pi by 2. Now i1 is sine of x whole raised to power root 2 plus 1. I'm going to do one thing here is I'm going to write sine of x whole raised to power root 2 plus 1 in one more way. That is sine of x whole raised to power root 2 multiplied by sine of x d of x. Now if I apply by parts here, I'll directly get the relationship between i1 and i2. And why I'm applying integration by parts, I'll tell you in the end. Okay, so here I'm applying integration, integration by parts. So if I apply integration by parts here, I'll easily get the relationship between i1 and i2. Once I get the relationship between i1 and i2, I can easily determine the ratio in which the question they are asking. Okay. So let's say this is the, my first function, this is my second function and I'm integrating by parts. So let's start. So I'm applying the formula here. The first function into integration of second. So integration of sine of x is minus cos of x. Now here the lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi by 2. Minus integration of 0 to pi by 2. Integration of differentiation of first. So we have to differentiate sine of x whole raised to power root 2. So let's differentiate first. So we have root 2 here multiplied by differentiation of sine of x whole raised to power root 2 is sine of x whole raised to power root 2 minus 1. Now differentiation of inside function is cos of x. Now whole multiplied by integration of second function. So integration of sine, sine of x is minus cos of x. And in the end we have t of x. Now we have i of 1 is equal to let's put the limit in this integration first integral so as soon as you put pi by 2 we know cos of pi by 2 cos of 90 degrees 0 so we got 0 here minus times of as soon as you put 0 here sine of 0 will give you 0 multiplied by anything is 0 so this we have 0 now as you can see here negative is present here and negative is here so negative negative is positive now I'll I'll bring all the constant outside that is root 2 times integration 0 to pi by 2. Now as you can see here we have sine of x whole raised to power root 2 minus 1 multiplied by cos of x into cos of x is cos square of x d of x. Now we'll further simplify in order to get the relationship between i1 and i2. So i1 is root 2 times as you can see integration 0 to pi by 2 sine of x whole raised to power root 2 minus 1. Now here I'm going to write cos square x as 1 minus sine square of x d of x. Now I'm going to solve this integration in the next page. So I'll copy down the i1 integral as it is in the next page. So we had i1 is equal to root 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sine of x whole raised to power root 2 minus 1 whole multiplied by 1 minus sine square of x d of x. Now as I told you in the starting this first integral is i1 and the second integral was i2. Our motive was to calculate the ratio and as I told you we have started with i1 in order to determine the relationship between i1 and i2 because once we determine the relationship between i1 and i2 we'll automatically get the ratio. So I'll do one thing here, I'll multiply sine of x inside here and you'll get to know we'll get the ratio i1 and i2 automatically. So i1 is root 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2. If I multiply inside I'll get this as sine of x whole raised to power root 2 minus 1 
because this is unity d of x now the second integral is integration this is root 2 here integration 0 to pi by 2 sine of x whole raised to power root 2 minus 1 multiplied by sine of x square is sine of x whole raised to power root 2 plus 1 because the base is same the powers will be added now as you can see here clearly I got my i1 and i2 this is my i2 and this is my i1 now if I take i1 on the other side I'll have root 2 plus 1 times i1 is equal to root 2 times i2 so now let's calculate the ratio here so i1 by i2 here the ratio is i1 by i2 is equal to as you can see here root 2 whole divided by root 2 plus 1 now this is not matching with one of our options so we'll do one thing here we'll rationalize this so I'm rationalizing this value by multiplying by root 2 minus 1 in numerator and denominator so from here we'll get i1 by i2 as root 2 times root 2 minus 1 whole divided by this is 2 minus 1 it is equal to 1 as you can see 2 square minus 1 is 1 and if I multiply root 2 inside I will get this as 2 minus root 2 so as you can see a option is our correct option so that will be all for this problem and thank you